Hi there and welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. So battling with weeds is just one of the many things that us gardeners have to deal with when we are gardening outdoors. So I've tried a lot of different methods to try and suppress weeds and make it easier to control the, the quack grass and the weeds that get into my garden space. One of the methods that I have tried is hauling in wood chips. We had a few trees cut down. We got the trees all shredded. I have this beautiful pile of wood chips and I spent a lot of time and effort hauling them in dumping them around and spreading them around my garden beds. It looks great, but it is really hard to keep up. This is about two years later now, and the grass and the weeds, of course, keep coming through the wood chips. It's kind of one of those things that you have to keep on top of, and just hauling in wood chips, spreading them around is a lot of work. I've also tried using different types of weed barriers. You'll see underneath these red tubs that I have some white weed barrier that I put under here a couple years ago. But just like the wood chips, the dirt just keeps blowing in, the seeds from weeds blow in, and they literally will just grow on top of your weed barrier. So again, the weed barrier works for a short period of time. I also put down a whole layer this spring just to try and keep all this uh, suckers and grass that comes in from this hedge. This is choke cherries. I got no end of quack grass. So I laid down this weed barrier here and put all my containers on to keep it from blowing away. So it does the job, but it's just not aesthetically very nice looking. I also grew a bunch of comfrey and it's spreading like crazy all along here and it is supposed to help deter grass from growing into your garden space. So that seems to be working. So when you're blessed with lots of rain, of course, with that comes lots of weeds and grass, which you have to keep up on. We've had a real dry spell now. It's nearing the end of August. But as you can see, even when it's dry, the weeds keep coming. They'll grow no matter what. And it's really hard to get in here and try and pull them out by hand. So in this video, I'm going to show you my new favorite way to control weeds in my garden bed, and that is this Greenworks cordless trimmer. So I was able to pick up this Greenworks cordless trimmer at a great price during Amazon Prime Days in July. I'll leave the link to it below. So one of the great things about being cordless is it's so easy to just pull out and do some snipping around your garden beds. You don't have to worry about dragging out cords and finding a plug-in nearby where you want to do some trimming. I have areas in my yard where I'm very far away from a power source. So just having this cordless trimmer is awesome. So before I show you some demonstrations of how I like to use my trimmer, let's go inside and do an unboxing and assembly of the Greenworks cordless trimmer. Hey gardeners, if you're enjoying this video, please help my channel and hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my little garden newsletter. This newsletter is packed with exclusive gardening tips and tricks, delicious recipes, and quick tutorials showing how you can garden and grow your own food year round, no matter where you live. Just click on the link in the description box below where you can subscribe to this new addition to my little garden community and let's get growing. So here's what the Greenworks 12 inch string trimmer looks like coming out of the box. This is all the pieces that come with it. it comes with one battery and the charger which I have plugged in and charging up right now. There is a little bit of assembly required it already has one of the um, tr string trimmers installed ready to go here so you do want to order replacement uh, string for this as well which you can get in I think I got a pack of six also as well so the first thing you can put into place is the guide here which just fits into these holes so then you can attach the guard here and it comes with two screws that require a Phillips screwdriver to install and just want to put those in place, line up the holes here and then just tighten with a Phillips screwdriver. Next you just want to secure your shaft here as you can see you can take it apart and, and store it easily just by bending it in half. So you want to just put that in place on here, pull this up and screw on. And the last piece to install is your auxiliary handle here. 
<clears throat> you want to set it up so it's in a comfortable position that works for you. You can slide it up and down and then just secure it with this screw attachment here. So it is adjustable if you need to slide it up and down as needed. So charging your 40 volt lithium battery is fairly easy. You simply just plug it in and slide it into position. Once it clicks, it'll probably be red if the battery is needs charging, but I've had this charging now, so you'll see the green light is on, so it is fully charged and ready to use. There is a release button here that you can just push to remove it from the charger or from your trimmer. So once you have it fully charged, you can just slide it into place here. Once you hear that click, you know it is ready to go. So this is a six pack of the replacement strings for my string trimmer. They, it is a single string trimmer. So it comes with the six replacements plus another cover if needed. So to change it, you can simply just remove the green top and remove the empty cartridge. Start off with a new one. So to make it a little bit easier to get into your system here and not have your string all unravel, I usually pull out the amount that I'm wanting to use to start with and just lock it in here. And then you can simply feed it through the hole this and then snap it back into place then you can release it from that holder so that it is loosened now so once you got that cartridge back in and your string strung out to the right length you can just put the green cover back on sure it snaps into these two slots here and you are ready to start snipping. So I haven't had to charge this battery up yet. We probably put, you know, maybe half an hour to an hour's worth of snipping time into it. So the battery life seems really good. I just really am happy with how I can just go grab this out of my garden shed and do quick trims around my garden beds and my flower containers without having to worry about dragging out cords. So if you're looking for a quick and low effort way to control weeds around your garden bed, I highly recommend trying out one of these cordless weed whackers and hope you enjoyed watching this video.